I think the best science fiction tends to draw on where we are now and extrapolate outwards, um, whether you set a story in the near future or the far future. We as a society need to be aware of how we are affecting the environment in which we live. It is something that all of us are painfully aware of as we watch the global warming affect our lives. I was a little, um, uh, a bit of a feet dragger on this issue. And even though I like Al Gore, and I've always been uh, very um, respectful of his intelligence regarding the environment, I thought, I think that this whole thing is being uh, exaggerated. I just got back from a long time in Europe. I was all over the place. It's not exaggerated. And what these scientists or environmentalists are seeing or understanding in their prescience is that it is imminent, in fact. There is nothing that leads me to believe that if we don't do some substantial changes in our uh, policies, we are going to have um, situations that could, in fact, be what's reflected in the story. And I like a story where the environmentalists are the protagonists, as opposed to the antagonists. I think that they have um, a point of view that has value for all of us. Carl Schneider has allowed us to go to a world in which animals and plants and trees are given the same voice, if you will, as humans. And that voice affects how governments will ultimately make decisions that affect them. The beauty of this story is that she combines a love story um, with the greater issue, which is one of, of the environment. How do we make the environment, in fact, bear fruit? It's that simple.